In today's presentation, we will see laminar airflow unit qualification. Here, we will go through the purpose of laminar airflow unit qualification. Then, we will see few important qualification tests such as airflow visualization test, then non-viable particle count test, viable count test by settle plate and contact plate method, and viable count test by volumetric air sampling method. Prior to starting with the qualification test, we will see the purpose of qualification of laminar airflow unit. The purpose of doing performance qualification of laminar airflow unit is to establish documented evidence that laminar airflow system is in accordance with the specification and is capable of consistently controlling ingress of particulate contaminants and reduce chances of cross-contamination, preserves product status and supports smooth flow of material when operated as per the standard operating procedure. First important qualification test is airflow visualization test. The purpose of airflow visualization test is to check the flow pattern in laminar airflow system in at operation condition by using smoke generator. In this method, we generate the smoke near the supply air terminals and carry out the videography to record the airflow pattern over and around the laminar airflow system. During this study, laminar airflow number, current date and time shall be get reflected in videography. Acceptance criteria of airflow visualization test is airflow shall be unidirectional downwards and towards the return risers and from the high pressure to low pressure areas. There shall not be any turbulence in the airflow. Next important qualification test is non-viable particle count test. The purpose of this test is to verify that clean zone can achieve the required air cleanliness classification by particle concentration. This test is conducted under at rest and in operation condition. To perform this test, discrete particle counters that is a light scattering device having a means of displaying or recording the count and size of discrete particles in air with capability to detect the total particle concentration for class under consideration is used to conduct test. In this test, each sampling location shall be sampled for one time a day that is at rest and in operation condition. Acceptance criteria for this test is that for the maximum permitted number of particles per meter cube of air is at rest condition in case of grade A. 0.5 micron particle shall not be more than 3520 and 5 micron particle shall not be more than 20. Whereas in case of in operation condition, same limits are applicable as for 0.5 micron particles, 3520 shall not be exceeded and for 5 micron particles, number 20 shall not be exceeded. Next important qualification test is viable count test by settle plate and contact plate method. This testing is done to verify that the clean zone can achieve the air cleanliness classification required with regard to viable particulates. During execution of this test, sampling should be done at sampling locations identified. SCDM or soybean casein digest medium plates are placed under laminar airflow unit for a maximum period of 4 hours. After completion of exposure period, these exposed plates are to be transferred to QC for incubation purpose. Acceptance criteria for viable count test by settle plate and contact plate method is that there should be less than one colony forming unit shall be reported for exposed settle plates and contact plates to comply the requirements of grade A or class 100. This Setter plate monitoring shall be done at rest and in operation conditions for consecutive 3 days. Last but most important qualification test is viable count test by volumetric air sampling method. This testing is done to verify that the clean zone can achieve the air cleanliness classification required with regard to viable particulates by using volumetric air sampling. During the execution of this test, the 90 mm petri plates are being prepared with 20 ml to 25 ml of SCDM that is soybean casein digest agar. After the pre-incubation of 24 hours, the petri plates are allowed for sampling and the active air sampling procedure is to be started and to be continued up to 10 minutes or as per the time validated as per the each industry. 
Further, these plates are incubated at 20 to 25 degrees Celsius for 72 hours and observation is being recorded. Later, the same plates are then incubated at 30 to 35 degrees Celsius for 48 hours and then the observations are recorded. Acceptance criteria for this test for comply with the grade A or the class 100 there shall be a less than one colony forming unit for one meter cube air sampling. Subscribe to channel for more videos related to pharmaceutical industry.